Lordy Lord. I'm this. Now I let's I need that correction. Hey. Alright. You out of here. Ow, 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 ow. Does it work? Option I see. Welcome. Forgot the mic. Oh yeah, Chris. Buy some cables. Zoom. This little thing here. I've, I've broken more nails than. Oh man. Please, next time you build the next version, have it a little flap, a flappy here, a little flappy here, so I can just go. Bloop. Let's get the audio. Let's switch on the sound. Now you should hear me back. You should be hearing me in a good audio sound. Right. Welcome. What is it? It's Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, it's been a week, I think. I haven't done this. It's Sunday morning today, and I think it's a wonderful day. It's a little bit cloudy today. Um, right, well, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for coming and watching me. Thank you, I really appreciate for you coming back to this channel and subscribing. It, it, it makes a difference. It really does. Let's get back to the point. Um, yeah, thank you guys. I really appreciate it for you uh, coming back to this channel. It does make a difference. I like the community coming back, subscribing, liking. It makes me feel like I'm doing actually something right, you know. Um, so, what, why have I been delaying the videos? Well, A, I've been working a couple more projects on. B, the the contract world's taking me over with a lot of you know in-depth projects I've got for my clients. Uh, I'm doing some couple of projects for my friends, helping them out coding. And then I've got my whole little world of YouTube channels for my daughter that she wanted to start. And I've just been helping her out because I enjoy a lot more. I do actually enjoy a lot more that than doing this because I see the happiness in her eyes of doing experiments. And she's just been crying out for a channel she wants. To be on a camera now she doesn't want to really want a channel she wants just to be at the camera and seeing herself and she makes it she has fun out of it um hence why i'm supporting her now back to back to why we're here have you been asked to learn react are you migrating from react to angular are you actually an angular developer and now trying to learn react or are you react and trying to learn angular this video is going to be how do you set up react now while i'm setting up react i'll be talking about the differences or the comparison to angular i think it'll be very cool to set up an angular app and react app and show you the basics of how do you create an app how do you set up the routing paths and how do you navigate between components and i think i can then in next lessons move into state management the state management, the way that React does, is similar but not so close. And I think that will be actually a good start of understanding the differences. Let's kick it off by building the apps. Two visual editors. We've got a React on the project on the left-hand side, and we've got an Angular project on the right. I use these editors. I love them. Uh, well, I love WebSOM. Not sponsored. Um, but I really, really like um, Visual Studio right now. It, it's working out for me. I'm getting used to it. You know. You get used to stuff. So, it's the same as Node++, Sublime, I use Visual Code, it's free. Free is amazing sometimes. But WebStorm, oof, I like it. Anyway, React, how do you create a product in React? npmx, npmx, it's an old package, and then you do create um, React app, but in Angular it would be ng new. Same thing. So, let's fire off, the app will be called Bananas. Yes, bananas. I love bananas. By the way, while we're creating bananas, that was good. Right, bananas. Great app. And then, and in Angular, we do engine new bananas. Now let's see, both of them loading. So on Angular one, I made a mistake was I needed to write an ng. All I did is ng not g to generate. And watch, let's see the speed of lightning. Now in Angular, the difference is I need to set up, if I want to add routing, I'll say yes. 
I define the file type, sas, and it creates it for me. In React, it did it already, but it's CSS. You have to set up sas on top of it. Um, the routing has to set up. It's clean. The thing is, React is very clean. Well, you can do cowboy, you know, you can do whatever you want. You can literally go and build however you want to build. But the Angular is more structure. Right, so structure for React. You've got your application name, your source, your node folders with your npm installs. You've got app.js and index.js. So index.js is, is where everything starts. And then it renders the application here. This is where you define it. Basically, it gets the DOM element root, which is in your HTML file. I can't remember what the file is. It picks up the root uh, ID and then it renders the app, which is basically this app here. And it renders this application. It renders on port 3000, but we have not started. Angular on the side has also start look rendered and it's done it. So it's built it. Now if you look at Angular, same thing. You've got a source and now you've got that structure. You've got the app routing. So it's all about modules. So here's my module. And in my module, app module, that gets booted up. Um, I've got my app component, which is here. My app component, and then it, in the component, I will define the selector, I define a template URL, and I define a style sheet. You know, it's, it's there. Whereas React is, yeah, you import CSS from here. You can build your own way of how you're gonna do your CSS library, structure it, cowboy. And then, your boom, 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 your selectors. Now the selector, what it does is it changes the selector. So it has, it just, there's no selector, it's just a div. Now you can do the same thing in Angular. The way you convert the div is by just doing the brackets and then you do this. And it will by default do a div instead of the, in HTML you'll see app root. I'll show you in a bit. So that's the default. Let's kick them off. npm run start. And then, I think, I have to do this for both in React. I have to go into bananas folder. In the bananas folder, I do npm run start. Because I'm one folder up. And the same thing here. So you have to go in the bananas folder. And I have to do npm run start. Ooh. npm start, npm run start. Let's kick that off a little bit here. Look, beautifully React's running, right? <clears throat> and you can see it's the, the div root, and then here's the app, and then the middle part, whatever's interesting. Angle's got a little bit of time to pull, to pull all that stuff together. Come on. You can do dash zero to open the browser, but you know, whatever. Angular. So, Here's the HTML, right? So what we can do now is, so look at this in Angular by default it has. It's got router outlet. This is every time you inject your other components. So in Angular, you define in a module called app routing or whatever. You got router module. So you got the module called router module and it has where you put the roots inside, the paths of the application and every path you define a component that it needs to be assigned to. So you define it here um, in this path here and this way you will define your path and your component. Now for the application to understand to need, you need to inject at that comp component side it's got this root outlet here that you see. We basically can delete this. Root outlet. In React we haven't got anything so let's just delete this. It's empty. Ooh, it's empty like that. One thing about React is React needs, so you see in Angular, you don't have to worry about wrapping all of your code in a one HTML DOM, uh, HTML element. So like app root, you know. In your HTML, if you want to now, let's say you want to introduce some stuff in it, so in app component, I'm gonna take out this uh, root outlet for now so you guys kind of, um, see what I'm talking about. So this is the uh, Angular and this is the React. And now 
what I was talking about. Yes, so if I want to do, I can do here div. So I've got two divs, and in Angular, will render me just two divs. So it's got an additional thing there. So two divs there, and in React, it, what I need to do is if, if I just take this off and put a div here, and put da da da, and then I have a div here, save it, it won't render it. Because what it's trying to do is, as you see here, it's it's not HTML here, right? You you you've got it inside a function, and what you need to actually do is you need to wrap it. Let me just copy that first. You need to wrap it like this for it to work. Angular is going to wrap it around already around this selector, and then it puts it into the template URL. When the HTML compile, well, when it all puts it in a string, you can put it inside the template URL here. Now let's start, let's start kicking off more interesting things. First thing is um, components. So in Angular, you've got the terminal and I can just add a new one. I'm just gonna say in what folder I am, CD bananas. So in Angular, I can do this. I can do ng new component and call it uh, bananas. And this will generate a component called bananas where I'm gonna have a list of my, all my bananas. I love the word bananas. Anyway, there's bananas. And then what I can do is I can take the app bananas and I just can log it out here. Yeah. Have a look at this. There you go. So it, it loads the banana stuff in it. <clears throat> my throat. Now in React, to do that, all you need to do is literally you can create a new file called bananas. Spelling is not my protrude bananas. And all you do is you copy the app stuff, you put it into the banana stuff. A little bit of manual work, but what can you do? Bananas. You function, you export it. You, you have the React, you import the React so it can you know, do your magic. You have the bananas, and then in app JS you have to go import. Learn the spell quiz today. I call it banana. That's not <laughs> banana. So and then I love it. You know the thing I like about this one is that it has this closing. It does it like that with the selector. Look at the difference. Let me take this off because this will confuse you. And in the bananas app, I'll just say this. So, this is my uh, my banana. And in bananas, this is my banana. Uh, it sounds to me like this is Sparta. Anyway, talking back to this. So, this is banana, and look at what it does. Um, so, you got a root, and then. The selector gets taken out and replaced with divs, right? In Angular, it'll be rendering the selector app, so app root app bananas, and this this element hasn't got weight. Um, I mean, weight. It's it's not an attribute of the DOM, right? It's not properly. It's not. Uh, 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 it's not an element. So to do that, you can do this. What I was talking about. You just put it in brackets. I think what I need, oh sorry, I think I know. So what you need to do now is, so instead of doing this, it turns into like a directive. And this allows me to do this. Uh, bum, why did it do? So div. So I just assign a directive like this. And it's the same thing, but it's now part of the div. Cool, no? So this is now, it's all divs and it's not your know, made up um, attributes. So this is the way you two do it. Next thing is, well, how do I now, okay, Chris, so I've got a home page and I want a bananas page. How do I now have the routing? Now in routing in Angular is, I'll just delete this. And I'll comment this little uh, baby here, router outlet. And if I look at the app router module, is the paths. 
And the paths here are, I define a path, which is if I've got a um, bananas path, I'm gonna have a component that's gonna be called bananas component. I love the visual code starting to pick up. It's like, I type in, it picks up the stuff that needs to import correctly. It's almost like it's becoming smart. Anyway, bananas, bananas component, and this will tell if I load this path, it should render me that component. Yeah, it renders in the root outlet and then it renders this component here. That is basically it from, from Angular. Paths and what component needs to be do. And then, well, remember the Angular CLI set this up for me already. In React, I need to, I need to do this. I need to go, so inside of here, so inside of my app, because app is the root, right? And the root outlet. Um, you define root, okay, so this is an import I'm missing. I'm missing an import, and the import is this one from rec do. Now, so what have I imported? I imported the browser router as router, and when you use the word as, that means you can take one specific naming and turn it into another, another, another one. And I think router is shorter than browser router. Look at the Angular thing, it's got, so for it to use it, you use the router module. And that's how you import the, the power of the module. Uh, here I just import the browser router as router and I have a switch and I have a root. And what's the difference? Switch is, so I'm gonna import router and router is gonna have my different types of uh, components that I load. And based on a switch, it's like in JavaScript. Oh, it is JavaScript, switch. You can say, well, if this is the scenario of the path, load me this component. Router. And then it's my next one is switch. Beautiful. And the next one is the component. There you go. So, and then what you do is you do a path and then what you link it and you can call it, I'm just gonna copy the same name, bananas. And it will load this path. What do you think? Ah, silly me. The bracket, uh, the, that ticks. So, if I now go to my, don't complain, it's not nice. Um, so it's missing bananas, bananas missing, switch router, switch router dome. I always like to add the semicolons at the end of my sentences. You still good thing. Cannot resolve React router dome. Why can't you do it? Because you haven't got installed, Chris. So get into npm i, React router and dome. Save. Beautiful. In, installed, ready to roll. Beautiful. There you go, that is running. So slash bananas, and what do we have? Well, we should have something. And why don't we have anything? Because the div is empty. If I go into bananas, should have run the application, this is banana. Now, Let's double check, let's check router. Ah, so the issue is, I'm going to use the two, so I'm thinking two ways. So what I need to do actually is I have to do route. And then I specify the path, which is backticks bananas. And then I add the component. And then I define a component here. And the component is bananas. Difference here, I try to remember, I try to enter the component, this is how you define it. So I've got router, a switch statement, and route, if a route is path bananas, load me component bananas. That should work. Oh, that should work. Okay, so what the issue is, I think I understood, and that is basically, instead of doing that, I just needed it to, without the brackets, I think. There you go, app running, fantastic. Ooh, took me a while, took me a while. Okay, so root, pass the path, and I let it know that it's exact. Actually, it's not, just keep it for now like that. And then you can define your app components, your other components that you want, just add them here. Now, there's a little trick here. If you want to have an exact, let's say you have bananas, and you have a bananas, specific type of banana, and this is a banana app. I'm just gonna rename this to bananas. So this is bananas, meaning it's a list of bananas. 
I'm just going to copy that, create a new file, and I'm going to call it banana.js. And this is the same thing, it's just without an S. This is a single, single banana. And then bananas is a list, a list of bananas. And then I can do bananas like that. And then also I can do banana, the inputs from banana. And that way is if I was single banana. So what did I do? Bananas slash ID. So if I just type in slash ID, you will see it won't work. It will give me the list of bananas because it stops at this match. You know, it found a match and it stops like a switch statement. As soon as you find a match, you exit it. If you do exact. you would see that single banana now loads because the URL here is different, yeah? And if I remove the ID unicorn, it gives me a list of bananas. So that's how you do routing and switching in React. <laughs> Compared to Angular, I would have another one here, generate a banana component, and that will generate it here. And what I'll do is I'll just take the component, go in my routing file, and what I can do is, I can do a path and say if it's a banana slash ID, unload this component. And now it's saying, of course, it's missing, import it. So I've got the two components running. So I've got my bananas, but if I do slash and do an ID, it will say a banana works, which is the single banana, which is the single component, single, single element, single element. So there you go. It's it, it's a little mission match, but I hope I explain it. So you got the way you had routing in Java, in JavaScript, React, and then the way you do it in Angular, which is in TypeScript. I'm going to switch it to this screen because then you can see the full based image. Back to the thing. So yeah, you kind of, that's how you do both things. That's how you do React and that's how you do Angular. Um, I'm gonna talk about more state management again. It's a little bit more oof, heavy, but this is this is, this is is the start and I hope I can kind of move it a little bit in and uh, get those users uh, more uh, asking questions and get you more curious guys about React and Angular. By the way, there's two things before you leave and go. One thing is, of course, I would like to ask you to subscribe and comment if this was useful. The other thing is, again, a big thank you for visiting. I'm Chris. I'm a JavaScript developer based in London that loves just building Angular applications. And now, React. To be honest, I've been working with React applications and I always felt with Angular applications more comfortable because Angular applications has a structure for me, a structure that I can follow, a structure that I can pass to my colleagues uh, we can work. In React, I've been in a lot of projects dumped into that it's uh, differently built, differently structured, the folder structure is differently. And I would like to compare that as well in my next lessons. And uh, when you're in a new project in React and you've got the manager tapping on your back, come on, it takes a while to get your head around in a, Angular, in a React project. In Angular, it's a little bit easier because you already know the structure. Also, you've got an NPM package that you can run and it'll build your tree and you can see how everything is linked. Um, I can show that as well if you guys are interested, comment below. But anyway, what can I say? Drop that little uh, like button, drop it. Yeah, drop it. I don't know why I said drop it. Click it and thank you guys if you want to see more videos like this. See you soon, this is Chris. See ya. Say goodbye. Shit, this is. See you guys. So this is the thing. The thing now I finished recording and I have to I literally have to go with my little fingers here. Look. Can you focus? Be careful. And I, I, I can't I can't get the out the audio card. And this is man, my I wish I had longer nails. I can't pull this out. That's it, stuck. And I, how I'm gonna do it? Now I'm gonna take a raggedy knife. A raggedy knife to pull this stuff out. And this is cost money. There you go. If anyone got suggestions of how you guys sort out these audios with these little flickers here, because you see, pull out the audio, I need to flick this open, and I'm really, I, I'm cautious about my stuff, you know, I, 
this stuff for me is not cheap and um, yeah so if you can guys give me some advice on pulling this out without ruining it that would be amazing I have to do one more video see you guys